everybody. Today we were focusing on interpreting and computing division of a fraction by another fraction. And we're going to do some of this using some mental math strategies as well as drawing out some diagrams. So if I take a look at 9 fourths divided by 3 fourths, if you notice that the denominators are the same, they're equal parts. So we have 9 fourths divided by 3 fourths. It would be like saying 9 cookies divided by 3 cookies. So you, when your labels are the same, what it comes down to is you're really just dividing your numerators. So I can show you that a couple different ways. We can take this division problem and rewrite it with multiplication by doing 9 fourths, change division to multiplication, and do the opposite by flipping the second part. So dividing by 3 fourths would be the same as multiplying by 4 thirds. So when I go ahead and I work this out, before I multiply, I can see that a numerator and denominator are 4. So they cancel each other out. 4 divided by 4 is just 1. So I'm left with my numerator, 9 times 1 being 9, and the denominator, 1 times 3 being 3, 9 thirds. 9 thirds is really the same as saying 9 fourths divided by 3 fourths. 9 divided by 3. The fraction bar means divided by. So 9 divided by 3. 9 thirds is equal to 3 whole. So if I wanted to see what that would look like, I could easily just draw a number line. And here would be 0. Let's say here's 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, or 1 whole. We have 9 fourths. What the problem asks us to do is divide that into groups of 3 fourths. So I can see right here, from here through here, I have a group of 3 fourths. So my next is 1, 2, 3. Here to here is another group of 3 fourths. And 1, 2, 3. Here to here is another group of 3 fourths. So when I take a look at the visual part, I can see I have 3 groups of 3 fourths in 9 fourths. All right, let's do one more problem. 7 thirds divided by 2 thirds. Again, it's really, the labels are the same. 7 thirds divided by 2 thirds. So if my labels are the same, it's really just saying to 7 divided by 2. So hopefully in your head you already know the answer. And if not, we'll go ahead and I'll just show again what it would look like if we rewrote it as a multiplication statement. So taking 7 thirds, instead of dividing it by 2 thirds, we can rewrite it as multiplication by multiplying it by 3 halves. And when I work that out, I can see that I have a numerator and denominator that are both the 3. They can cancel each other out. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So when I work out my math problem, numerator times numerator, 7 times 1 is 7. And 1 times 2 in my denominators is 2. I'm left with 7 halves, or 7 divided by 2. Looking again, 7 thirds divided by 2 thirds. Well, 7 halves, I can get 3 sets of 2 in 7. 3 times 2 is 6. That leaves 1 left over out of 2. So 3 and a half. Again, we could go ahead, we can draw out um, sets of thirds, and we can pull out the sets uh, there. So if I wanted to, I could do another number line, or I could show you by just simply drawing sets of thirds. So seven thirds, I have here, I have three, six, nine. So if I'm talking about seven thirds, I'm really, oops, I'll leave that, get a highlighter. I'm really just talking about six, seven sets of three. So if I just use a different format for finding my sets of two thirds in there, 
I can go ahead and I can say, okay, well, here's a set of two thirds. Here's a set of two thirds. Here's a set of two thirds. So there's three full sets and I have one piece out of thirds. So, and out of my two thirds would be right here. So it's one out of the two pieces that are my sets of two thirds. So there's diagrams, there's where it is. When we're dividing with common denominators, we can make it as simple or a little bit more complex as needed. Um, you can pick your way that best suits you to solve the problems. And I hope this helps make a difference.